Hello, tubers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And thank you for watching Cooper's Thai Adventure. Welcome back, and today I got a special one for you. Continuing our tour of the Riviera complexes here that uh, we found, and guess what? We found another one here that is pet friendly. Yes, you can have a pet. You can have a pet dog or a pet cat, and uh, they're saying providing it's a small pet, it is allowed preferably around the 10 kilo range. So without uh, further ado, let's get started in today's video. And the first thing I want to show you is over the back here, as you come in by uh, security here, the entrance, just to the left, you have a multi-story car park. And uh, directly on the top of the multi-story car park right here is a tennis court. So you got the three-story car park, one, two, and three, and then on the roof, the tennis court. And this one here is very, very close to the beach. It is literally, um, my best guesstimation, uh, about 60 yards. So you can't get much closer to the beach if you tried. And absolutely beautiful building. We have three condos to show you, um, starting from uh, two two-bedroom condos, uh, one for rent, one for sale, and you use your key card to get into the building, and also a 40 square meter condominium uh, to show you for rent that they have here as well. So immediately when you walk in, you have your lobby area here where you can sit down and uh, relax and very well designed. But the one thing that took me away was their newest project, which is right here. And it's gonna be called the Riviera Malibu Residences. And uh, when it's completed, it's gonna be fantastic. Don't ask me the completion date. I've only just seen the poster right now for the first time, but look what you get in the new one. It's going to have a private cinema, bowling alleys, golf similar lounge, uh, simulator lounges, full onsen spa and sauna, two infinity sky pools, sky view restaurant, rooftop sunset bar, and games arcade. So I'm looking forward to that one when that one comes out. So let's uh, come around the back here and I'll just show you what they have. So coming down here, you have the glass lit tiles here with a relaxation lounge, plenty of seating area. And also back here, more relaxing lounges. And through the end, you have a pool room. More seating area to sit back and relax. And through here, you have a kiddies area with a couple computers right there at the back. So now let's uh, go out and look at the first of many pools that it has. So again, you need your key card to come in and out of here. You get your scanner there. And this is the ground floor pool. Plenty of uh, sun loungers just here. And another thing that's good about the Riviera is they make it accessible for most people, including the disabled, with the nice steps going down and the handrails. And there's also a kiddie slide just there. And more lounge areas out here at the back. Coming around this side, you have your jacuzzi area. So you got a seating area here in the water. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but you have your jacuzzi area. And again, with steps and a handrail going in and out. So very nicely well done. 
and more seating areas across here. So let's go look at the uh, facilities that they have here. And then let's go look at the rooms. Again, we have a one bedroom to show you that's uh, 40 square meters, just under 40 square meters, I think 39.75 square meters. And also uh, a two bedroom for rent and a two bedroom for sale. Very large. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy them. Stay tuned. Here we are on the 12th floor and this is room 1208. And as you walk through the room, this is what you see in front of you. You have a six seater dining table with a kitchen area at the back. And one thing that I like straight away that stands out to me is this big Samsung refrigerator right here with your water dispenser right there. So uh, absolutely great. And you just fill the water dispenser up here with your water and you get your cold water like that. Very big refrigerator. And there you go. There's your uh, freezer with a built-in ice maker as well. So very nice. And then there's plenty, plenty of cupboard spaces here. Even uh, here on top of the refrigerator, you got uh, cupboard spaces up here with the fuse box behind there. And these are pushed open. This is a brand new unit, so never lived in. And uh, what you see is what you get with uh, brand new units. Over to this side, you have your counter space with uh, three wall plugs there and a four hob burner. And also here, a Samsung wash machine. Down under here, you got uh, plenty of cupboard space down here. This right there. And then another plus for this unit is it has a built-in oven. Look at this. Not many places have ovens, but uh, this one does, and it's brand spanking new, new, never been used before. And plus plus, Darlene just said, dual sink. So another good one there. And then these are all glass units. So very nice. Lots and lots of spaces here. And plenty of room here under the sink with our hot water supply just right there. So you don't have to do the dishes in cold water. And is there something here underneath? Let's just take a look. Yes, there is. There's a drawer under the oven. Good place to put your pots and pans. Moving on along, you have your living room area. And uh, you got a fluffy carpet here, very nice and soft with two-seater sofa and a single chair. Now let's go have a look at the balcony area, but before we do, you also have a 75-inch uh, flat-screen Samsung TV there with a couple of power plugs underneath here and a hole at the top so you can connect whatever you wanted to it. And this is your balcony area. So there you go. And uh, this is the sea view. Very nice. And then you also have a view of the swimming pool just right there. Absolutely beautiful. And a view here at the back of the mountains in the distance. And you also have uh, two power points just here behind uh, the lounger here. You can sit out there listening to your music or anything else. So here, let's go check out the bedrooms. This is a two bedroom accommodation. So here you go. You have the Jack and Jill style bathroom just here with a nice oval sink, stylish faucet slash tap there. And then cupboard space here and here. 
and more down there on both sides here. Over this side, you have your shower, which again is a rainfall, and your toilets area just here. And these are sliding doors, so you can close this section off so nobody could peek in the bedroom and uh, come in through the entry behind me. So this is uh, the first of two bedrooms. And directly here, you have the wardrobe with the uh, illuminating lights inside. And plenty of place at the top there to put a suitcase. And also down here, you have three drawers. And quite deep too. I mean, uh, deep inwards, not downwards. And then back over this side where Darlene is sitting is the bed. The bed is not the usual bed. And this is not a Thai style bed. This is a very soft foreigner size bed. Look at just how soft that is right there. You're going to get some great night sleeps. And then you have this big mirror area right here by the bed. Two bedside tables and also a plug and a USB charging point on the plug right there. Yeah, the Darlene's already got ideas of what she would do with this bedroom. But anyways, this is the TV here and you have your display shelf there to put your smart boxes or anything else that you wanted. And she suggested just put a Shea lounger right here. Uh, here. A Cleopatra and seat. You're going to wake up in the morning and then you're going to think of your life. Oh, I want to run free. Uh, doesn't it look oh, beautiful? Look. Yeah, and you can see the islands out there in the distance from the, be from the bedroom. And believe it or not, this is not the master bedroom. So it is not. This is not the master bedroom. So let's go over and take a uh, peek at the master bedroom. And uh, the master bedroom's directly here in front of us. But before we do, you might have heard, you got central aircon, which is a plus plus. And the woods. Yeah, the, the woods wood are very elegant. A very nice wood design. Science, science and elegant. as you walk in, you have your wardrobe area over here to the back side. And when you open the other side door, you also get the light. So it's on a switch there. Again, with your three drawers here, plenty of hanging space going across. And you put your suitcases down here at the bottom, you know, you just uh, stack them up there if you wanted to. Or there's even more room at the top here where you could put your suitcase one side there. And again, on the other side, just here. So plenty of places. And uh, let's go back around to the other side of the bedroom where I'll just show you just through here. I like the wallpaper. This is definitely the wallpaper in color I like. Yeah, yeah, it is very nice texture nice. to it. Very, very nice, smooth. And then this is your master bedroom. So this is the view you have of your master bedroom, a view of the mountains in the background. And then if you pan around to the right here, you also have a partial sea view just here. And look at this bed. Again, you have the mirror on the back, your central aircon here at the top, and a very, very soft mattress, plus plus. This is a corner unit. And it's a corner unit. You can see there. You got your TV hanging down here which is another Samsung Smart TV, and you have a view directly over the tennis court. This yes. building does come There's complete with a tennis court. And over the back side, let's have a look at the master bathroom. So here we are, and this is a big bathroom. You have a lot of space for the Look up. Three, four steps before you go to the toilet. Yeah, it is a big bathroom. You're a big guy. You have a lot of space. <laughs> And here you go, you have your big rear Riviera Mon uh, Monaco uh, display mirror there with lights. Uh, very nice sink here. Two PowerPoint plug sockets there. And storage space here underneath. But the creme de la creme of this one is it comes with a bathtub. 
look at that. So you got a big, huge bathtub, and then you have your shower hose here, which uh, comes out just like that. So you can actually take a shower if you didn't want to take a bath. And uh, wow, very, very nice. So let's speak to my wife, Darlene, and uh, ask her about this accommodation. So honey, what is the square footage of this accommodation? 78 square meters. Oh, I'm not a person. 78 square meters. And um, the transfer fee is 50-50. We'll get the price up on a banner for you. Transfer fee is 50-50. The maintenance is like 600 baht per unit. And it's uh, per year. Yeah, so it's 600 baht it's per square foot. Square name. Name. Square foot. Per, um, so you would times that by, what is it, 76 square meters? 78. 78, so 600 times 78, and you only pay that once a year. And that is your maintenance fees there. And it's very elegant. I, li I like the Riviera Monaco. Look at this. Don't you know that wood is a sign of elegance? <laughs> I don't know if it's a real and also we asked uh, about the electric and the water and they are both at government rate so plus plus and then uh, because this is a brand new unit never lived in uh, you have to install the cable tv which uh, it's already there you just need to get it turned on and the internet it does come with fiber optic cable so uh, another plus plus so what do you think of this unit and the price tag? I know you all want to know how much is this uh, to buy with this amazing sea view here and you're literally a hop, skip and a jump to the beach. Well, this unit here is 11 million baht and uh, the reason it is 11 million baht is right here. That amazing Z view and I'll put up on a banner the prices in uh, the currencies. So uh, y you'll get a idea of what it is in your current currency. So let's go to the next floor and have a look at the next condominium. Stay tuned, more to come. Now let's take a look at an even bigger unit. This one is uh, room 1201 and it is a corner unit and it is 92 square meters. Yep, the agent's just pointed to me behind and uh, directly behind the door you have your oven your four hot burner your samsung wash machine and there you go you get all of this here and this one um, is for sale it's in a thai name but um, we don't uh, deal with uh, thai names on the channel so uh, what we did is we spoke to the owner and the owner said yes it is also available for rent so if you wanted to rent this uh, you can rent it and uh, we'll go over the prices with you. And uh, this is your display area here that lights up with your two kitchen stools, your dining table, which I would move away from there a bit. You got plenty of room to move it away. And then back over this side is your living room. Look how big this living room is just here. <laughs> yeah, the distance from the sofa to the TV and my best guess is going to be about 15 feet so it is quite wide it doesn't show you on the camera but uh let's go on through to the balcony and my lovely assistant darlena look at this if you don't have an aircon no problem if you don't want to use the oh aircon God, the breeze. there you go you get a nice fresh breeze here and look what you have on the back on the balcony here you have a jacuzzi on the bath uh bathtub slash jacuzzi here and uh with the wine. And you can lay there with a nice glass of wine with your partner. It does fit too. There's two uh, curves in there for two people. And this is your amazing sea view. And uh, just look at that. Just panning on around. And just over here, right there, is Kolarn Island. Beautiful island to go with the beautiful beaches and beautiful sea. Crystal clear water. And right here in front, I did ask the agent and they were planning on building another building here at front, but uh, the planning permission got knocked back and they said, no, you can only put a low rise building because you'll be blocking off the sea view from uh, these high rise buildings such as the one that we're in now. So uh, they're not gonna do anything with it. It's just gonna stay like that. Um, maybe turn it into a park in the near future 
So uh, there's not going to be any building on there to, to obstruct your view. And from the balcony, you also have a view right there of the sw swimming pool down below. And over the back side here is Banks Array. And this place here is in Na Jom Tien. Also here at the back of the ba balcony area, you have a couple plugs. And now let's go check out the bedrooms. So we'll start over here on uh, the left side. And as you walk in, you have your wardrobes, dual wardrobes on both sides. Again, with a sliding door and the light that comes on. And the three drawers here at the top. And shelves just going all the way up. On the other side, you have even more shelving space just here. And they put this for display purposes, so you can see it fits a suitcase, no problem. You can actually get three suitcases there. It's uh, that big. And then over to this side, again, whoops, a little too hard there, Cooper. Showing you for display purposes that you can fit a suitcase there and have room for your hanging clothes and storage there at the top. Back over to the other side of the wardrobe. If you got your long gowns, there you go. It's, it's a good uh, six foot because I'm just exactly six foot and that right there is coming to the top of my head right there. So plus plus just there. And then coming around to the back side is your bed. And uh, your bed's just here at the side. And this looks like a really good queen size bed there with your hanging TV. And uh, they've already got the wire connected there for the cable, so it just only needs to be turned on. And a little display area here. And then this is your view. Just there. From, from the bedroom. And behind this curtain is a door. Right here, you have a door here that you can go out to the balcony on. Just there. No need to open it. We just saw the balcony. And, uh, Central Icon just here with your light switch there by the bed. So it's great. You don't have to get out of the bed and turn out the lights. And there is a plug there with a USB socket. Coming back the other side of the bedroom door, you have the Jack and Jill door system just here to walk in to the bathroom. So your guests can come in here and you can close this door off, sliding door and uh, use the bathroom, no problem. And then you've obviously you got your toilet, your bum gun here, your dual sinks, your rear era Monaco mirror that lights up, and a couple cover spaces there for the corners to store even more things. And you also have a bathtub just here. And directly out here, there you go. You got an ocean view right there. Um, I'd close the blinds if it was me. <laughs> so the people opposite can't see you. So let's go through and check the other bedroom. And here you go. Here's the other bedroom. Another big size bedroom. Another queen size bed there with uh, two bedside tables and the USB plugs there, which is very, very handy. And then panning on around, you have your Samsung Smart TV with your display shelf and your plugs inside, easy access. And look at that, you even get another sea view there from the bedroom window. So all the rooms have sea view here. Back over this side behind me, you have a three door wardrobe. And these ones, instead of being slide, they are our pull out. So you pull this side out and then the other side. And there you go. You got your lighting there. Plenty of room for suitcases, as you can see there and there beside the three drawers. And also room there at the top. So you can put your suitcases there at the top out the way if you wanted to, too. And then on this side, even more hanging room here and 
room for more suitcases. There you go. So let's go take a look in the bathroom and see how this looks. So here we are in the bathroom and you have your mirror with a Riviera Monaco emblem there lit up, your rectangular sink, your cupboards down below. Over this side you have a hanging area there for a hand towel. And your two power points just there with the, your toilet, your bum gun just there and there you go, rainfall shower. Very, very beautiful. So let's go out on the balcony and talk prices. So this is the Riviera Monaco, and this one is 92 square feet. It is a corner lot with a uh, beautiful sea view. And what's great about this here is the railings are really tall. They gotta be about four and a half foot tall there. Um, so ideal if you've got small kids, they're not gonna be able to climb up and go over the railing. And what is the price for this? Well, the price for this one is a, a whopping 100,000 baht a month. And the reason I'm showing you this is so I can show you um, what you're curious of, the large size ones uh, in expensive building like this, what they go for. And this one here, 100,000 a month, the landlord said they want to require two months deposit, so it's gonna cost you 300,000 just to move in. But <laughs> I just thought I'd just show you this uh, because it is something spectacular. And hey, who knows? Maybe I got a rich person that watched my channel and think, hey, I want that one. <laughs> so there you go. And uh, one last look at the beautiful sea view. And uh, the sun is about to go down in the distance. Absolutely amazing. So let's go look at the other units we got to show you. We got um, plenty more to show you. Stay tuned including some cheaper rentals. And let's have a look at the final room, room number 2906. This is a one bedroom. And immediately as you walk in, you have your refrigerator here, fridge freezer, your Samsung wash machine, your sink there, and a Tika microwave with a higher uh, twin inverter refrigerator so it's going to cut down on the uh, electricity prices there for you and there you go brand spanking new this is a brand new unit never lived in and you have your two hob burner here with your extractor fan just there couple plugs there and uh, here's up in your cupboards above and uh, more storage space up here. Panning around, you have your breakfast dining area here with a couple stools. So uh, no need for a, a table. They've incorporated it in and it's actually done a good job with very nice soft cushions here. So you have your wicker chair here and your two-seater sofa just there where Darlene is. Got a heck of a breeze coming through, so the curtain's blowing, uh, blowing in. You have your coffee table here with uh, your Samsung Smart TV. And let's just go out and have a look on the balcony. Balcony, and here's your balcony. It's not a bad size balcony here. You can easily get a balcony table here and a couple of chairs. It's no problem. And here you go. This is your beautiful sea view right just right here wow nice and uh right there you can see the beach going all the way across here great for those daily walks and then uh, down the bottom you also have two plug sockets Now coming through to the bedroom, 
Here you go. You got your very nice soft mattress again, made by a company called Daisy. Daisy mattress quality. And as you can see, it's super, super soft. And uh, that looks like it's a queen size bed right there. And over this side, what's handy is you have the light switches here right beside the bed. Wish I had that in my condo. And uh, over here, you have a single plug with a USB charging port. And just here, you have a little display area, which uh, you could use as a makeup area or whatever you wanted right there. As uh, you got the plugs here to dry your hair if you're a female. Or maybe even just use it as a laptop area. I'd put a little chair from the living from the living room here and uh, just sit there and use it as a laptop area. So panning around from the bedroom, you still have that beautiful sea view there with a Samsung smart TV right there. And the beauty about this place again, central aircon. And over the back here, you have two wardrobes for one bedroom. It's amazing that you have the two wardrobes here. And uh, here's what you have on this side, which is an open area. You have a hanging area just here. Suitcase storage area up there, I like to call it. A shelf here. And then three very wide drawers just there. Coming over to my opposite side, you have your wardrobe. Full wardrobe just here. And again, that rail is at my height, which is six feet to the bottom. So you can put your suitcases here out the way, or you can even put them up there at the top out the way. It is big enough to fit a full size suitcase. Now let's go in and have a look at the bathroom. And the bathroom on this one is the same as the two bedroom. It has the sliding door just here. So you can close that off and your visitors can use the bathroom without peeking into your bedroom. Just in case you forgot to make your bed. <laughs> so here's the doorway that goes into the kitchen and living room area. And again, you have the full size Riviera uh, Monaco mirror there with a sink and Two cupboards here and two cubby holes there at the side with your power plug and your face towel or hand towel. Over this side you have the toilet with your bum gun just here and the shelving right here goes all the way down above here so you've got plenty of room to put spare stuff there. And over the back, here you go, here's your shower. And uh, you have a shower rail here on the door. I've left the door open just for convenience of going inside. And uh, it is hot and cold water shower, of course. So you have your hand spray here and then your rainfall there at the top. So let's go back out on the balcony and let's talk about size and price. So this is a one bedroom and they tell me that, uh, I don't believe it, but they tell me it is 29 square meters. I don't believe it's 29 at all because our place is 36 and it looks a lot smaller than this. So I think they made a mistake on the size, but if it is 29, it's extremely well designed for 29 square meters, I think. And um, the, again, the, the electric and the water are both at government rate. So plus plus there, uh, the internet and the cable TV, you just need to get turned on at the juristic office. Again, this is brand new, never lived in. And if you're interested in running this out, they are running it out for 22,000 baht. And um, that is on a month to month basis. But as I've said in this channel, cash is king. You can get that price down if you do a six month or a one year agreement. Also, if you can pay six months or one year in advance, you can get it down even further and I believe Personally, now this is my own personal belief, that you could get pretty close to that target range of 15,000 baht, maybe just a little bit over it, uh, 17, somewhere around there, um, if you pay a year in advance. But uh, this is the view that uh, you're paying that extra 60 US dollars for right there. And that's what makes 
the Riviera, Monaco, such a special, special place to live. And just over here is Na Jam Tien Marina. So if you like going out on boat trips and stuff like that, they got yachts, sails, boats, all that sort of thing. And I'm a yacht club there. Let me know in the comments what you think about the place. Now let's go have a look at the amenities and see what they got around. As always, I like to show you what's here and uh, what's available and what you get for your money. And I'm sure you want to know too. So stay tuned. Lots more to come. Coming down the hallway of the ground floor, one thing I uh, almost forgot to point out is just over here is your mailboxes. There and over there. And this door takes you also out to the pool access through the left. And also access to the kiddies room, which you can walk in. I'll just take a peek in here. There's no children in here and you have a couple computer desks there at the back. So if you're a family, this could be ideal for you. Nice play area. So let's go upstairs in the elevator and uh, take a look at the roof deck, pool, and the gym. Stay tuned. Here we are on the 21st floor. And uh, directly as we come through, on the right hand side is the gym. So let's just go take a look inside. Oh, nice and cool in here. Great air con. So you have right in front of us a cross trainer, a bicycle, and they do have LED screens on them. So it sort of gives you animation, shows you how far you're going. You have a couple treadmills over here. And uh, more bicycles over the back with again, more free weights, sit up machines, crunches, really is. Very nice gym, very cool in here. And this is the view you got. So you'll be looking out at the sea over the ocean um, and the beach as you're having a nice cool workout in this very nice air con. <laughs> I really wanna stay in here. <laughs> because it's very nice and cool. So let's go out and uh, have a look at the sky pool they call here. So directly up these stairs here. You have some more seating and relaxing areas just over here. And over here through the back as well. And here you go. Here is your Sky Infinity Pool. This one just here, that's your jacuzzi. And then over here, you have uh, steps going down in the pool. And uh, that's your view of the mountains here at the background. Back over this side, of course, you got your ocean view here, this side. And over the back side, you have a view of Jomtien and Patia. So you got Jomtien just here and Patia over the distance, just over there. Very nice. Now let's go take a look out on a uh, street view and see what's nearby. I uh, like to show folks that watch the video, hey, this is what you get here. So let me know in the comments below what you think about those three condos I showed you. Uh, the f near 40 square meters, the uh, 76 square meters, I think it was, and the 92 square meters. So 
give you an example of because people are looking for bigger sizes and also have families. Hello, gentlemen. Swati Cop. Okay, thank you. So, directly outside, what you have here is you have a massage studio just here, opticians right there, and down this side, the front of the building. Just walking down here a little ways. You have the uh, Zor right here, restaurant and lounge. So you can come here and get a nice meal, a nice cup of coffee. And also a little bit further down here is a 7-Eleven. So they have a 7-Eleven directly outside this condominium, which uh, some of you remember seeing it in the in a previous video that I made about a month ago. And uh, this is called the Espana. So at the front of the Espana, you also have a car and a motorbike rental shop and also one right here. So you have the Partel car rent and motorbike rent right outside your doorstep. Very, very handy. So I'm just gonna walk to the corner of the street, which is only literally a two minute walk. Just so I can show you what's nearby. And there you go. There's your 7-Eleven. And uh, directly outside the 7-Eleven, you got a couple of street food stalls. So here you are. And get some uh, barbecue chicken right there. And just here, you can get some noodles. But also what I want to show you. It's just right here. You have a Tops Daily. So you got a Mini Mart as well. So another plus plus. And straight down this road and around the corner is the beach. So another plus plus plus. Very, very close. So let me know in the comments what you think. I also had a couple subscribers saying, hey Cooper, if you pass the 7-Eleven, would you mind uh, walking in there and just showing us what they got? So there you go. If you want to see inside a 7-Eleven, there you go. This is what they have. Hello, welcome. Your proverbial greeting here in Thailand. So you got to, your ice creams over this side plenty of uh, suntan lotions and moisturizing creams, your shampoos, your shower gels, your bars of soap, your chapstick, your deodorant, all right there. Then over this side you have your eggs, things to uh, protect you from mosquito bites out here and uh, basic first aid items, toothpaste, toothbrushes, mouthwash, shampoo, conditioner, Q-tips, cotton buds, and uh, some washing supplies just here. So if you need a sponge or a cloth to do your dishes, there you go. And uh, little cubicles for cutting your nails and filing your nails and that sort of things. And over this side, you have your detergents. So you can uh, do your washing and your condominium. And your sanitary napkins for the ladies, toilet paper, more water. Over here you have your various oils for cooking, 
your all different assorted rices here, including jasmine, which is one of our favorites. And uh, your salt, peppers, vinegar, honey, all that sort of thing. Ketchup, mayonnaise, and sugar. You're going to find us here with a nice chest there. If you want to make yourself a hot nest cafe over here where the big thing is, the three-in-ones. And then you get your cold drinks here in your ice dispenser. And plenty more if you like some noodles, a couple noodles, and snacks, you can get them here. Along with your drinks, your fresh milk, orange juice, chocolate milk, and cakes there, and microwavable snacks. You got microwavable hamburgers, fish burgers, chicken burgers, uh, sandwiches, ham and cheese, sauces and cheese, carbonara dish sandwich, and there you go, 32 baht each, and that is under one US dollar. Then you got all your different coffees, your three-in-ones and your instant coffee. Back over this side, you have your sausages and hams and bacons. So they're pretty well stocked here. You can uh, find quite a lot. And then you have your ready-made meals. And uh, there you go. This one here, you get uh, Pat Capral, which is uh, spicy pork, rice, and they got a bit of a sausage there at the top. And that there is 45 baht. So just a little over a dollar, about a dollar and 10 cents for that ready meal. And uh, there's plenty of different ones here. And then uh, frozen ready meals here, if you want to put them in the freezer and keep them for later. And then chocolates and potato chip snacks there. More potato chips over here and here. And over the back is you get cold drinks. So you got your beers and your wine coolers just there. All different brands from Heineken to Leo. And uh, fizzy drinks if you're diabetic like me and you want your Coke Zero. There you go. They got plenty of sugar-free drinks here. And those with sugar in them. And you even got the Pepsi Black. And uh, just to show you what a price of a bottle would be. There you go, for 27 baht, you get a full size, I think it's one liter bottle of Coke. There you go, one liter bottle of Coke will run you 27 baht under one US dollar. About 75 cents actually, 80 cents, somewhere around there. And then if you don't have a microwave, what they'll do for you is they'll heat it up. So you just come over here and you give them the item and they heat it up in the microwave here. And also what you can get is you can get coffee, fresh coffee, they make it here. Uh, iced coffees, smoothies, fruit drinks, teas, coffees, and others. And more alcohol if you're into the spirits. There you go. Let me know what you think. And that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching Cooper's Die Adventures. Really, I really appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. It doesn't cost you a penny and it really supports the channel. Uh, and uh, I know they call it subscribe and you think, hang on Cooper, this is gonna cost me money. No, it doesn't. It's just a name that they called it. They should have called it, show me more, I agree. So <laughs> that's all I got for you today. And tomorrow we're gonna be looking at yet another Riviera complex. So we're showing you all the ones over here that are pet friendly and then the towers because a lot of people like the uh, beautiful sea views and uh, that's what they're looking for. So many people said to me, hey Cooper, please show me a two bedroom, show me some rentals, show me some sales and uh, show me some larger one bedrooms. So that's what we're aiming to do, keeping us busy folks and thank you so much. We're really appreciating and really enjoying this and uh, providing for the community. So until next time wherever you are. God bless you. Take care.